Hey everyone, Brian here from Native Instruments, and I'm here to introduce an exciting update for Machine, which now adds the possibility of working on a song directly on Machine's timeline using clips. Clips are an additional way of working in Machine's song view, or Machine's timeline, without having to create scenes or patterns. Unlike patterns, clips can be freely positioned and moved across the timeline. They can be part of a section, span across multiple sections, and even exist outside of a section. Clips are also available for Machine Plus and function the same way as using clips with the Machine Mark III. I'll show you how to seamlessly integrate clips into Machine's existing workflow and how you can create a track just using clips. I've sketched out a couple of drum patterns and arranged them in song view. I have my intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and back to another verse. I want to make a few adjustments to make the transition from the verse into the pre-chorus smoother and also going into the chorus more interesting. If I were to, let's say, remove a few events on the verse pattern, these changes would take place anytime I use pattern 2 as you can see. With clips, I'm able to make edits without having it affect the rest of my patterns. The first way I'll use clips is by converting a section into clips. Right clicking on the verse section, I can select convert to clip. This will change all patterns in the section into clips just at this point in my track and won't affect any patterns in the later verse. From here, I am free to make some changes. Let's remove the kick and the clap just before the pre-chorus. I can simply hold the erase button and hold the pads to create mutes throughout the clip. Let's also cut out everything just before the chorus and add a fill. I'll double click on top of the pattern and it creates a one bar clip. If there is a clip on top of the pattern, the events in the clip will play instead of the pattern at that point. Let's add in some loops and a riser. I'm going to make a new group and label this perk. To make a new clip from the hardware, you hold Shift plus Pattern and then hit an empty clip slot, just like you would if you were using patterns. Now, let's search in my loops area and find something. From here, I can drag this loop into sound slot 1, and you'll see in the software that the loop has been loaded into the audio engine. I can now move this clip to where I want on the timeline, press play, and hear it all sync together. I can make a new clip and load up another loop into sound slot 2. I'll make a new clip, drag the loop into sound slot 2, and now it's ready to go. In the area below, you can see the two loops and where they play on the timeline. I also want to add a riser. I'll make a new group and label this SFX and add a one-shot riser. I'll go to my one-shots tab, filter by sweep and swell, and find a riser. I'll drag this riser into sound slot 1 and then change this from the sampler to the audio module so it keeps everything in sync. If I turn off or adjust my grid, I'm able to freely move this clip around, shorten it to any length to get everything lining up perfectly. Clips can function between two different sections of your track. This riser has a tail at the end, so the main riser plays just before the buildup, and then the tail carries into the chorus. Now that you've seen how clips and patterns can function together, another way is working entirely with clips, and to demo that, let's add some piano. I have a piano loaded in group D. I can just hit shift record for the count in and start jamming and the clip will continue to extend. Let's play around. I 
like this chord groove that happened at bar nine, so I can adjust the start of the clip and the length, and now I'm free to move it around to different points in the track. Let's duplicate this and move it to the pre-chorus as well. Hopefully this gives you a good understanding of what clips are, how to use them, and how to integrate them into your machine workflow. For more information about clips, keyboard shortcuts, and hardware interactions, click on the link in the description, and thanks for watching.